But I would say that in an aging population, the most important thing I want to emphasize is getting enough protein. First of all, I just think for many people, it's kind of hard to get enough protein in. Even I have to pay attention to it and I don't have a problem eating. But I need to be mindful of, hey, did I get enough protein? It's, for, it's really easy for me to get all the carbs in the world. Uh, it's not, it, you know, I don't have to go out of my way to eat more fat, but I do have to be cognizant of getting enough protein. And enough protein is a pretty big number, right? It's about one gram per pound of body weight. So I would challenge each of you to pay attention to, hey, if you weigh 150 pounds, are you getting 150 grams of protein a day? And I would, I would bet that especially for the women here, that's even harder. Now, if you fall a little bit short of that, it's okay. But if you're at half of that, you're really not getting the optimal amount of protein. And as we age, we develop something called anabolic resistance which means that it is harder and harder for our muscles to synthesize and grow new muscle cells with the given amount of amino acids, which are the building blocks in protein that we get by eating protein. And, and therefore, we actually need more and more protein to overcome that. So, um, you know, we talk a lot about obesity. We talk a lot about osteoporosis and osteopenia, but there's another condition of aging called sarcopenia, which is the condition of uh, muscle loss. And that's, that's a huge problem. And there's really two ways to, um, in concert, two ways to address that. One is consuming enough protein and the other is doing enough resistance training. So again, doesn't matter if you're a vegetarian, doesn't matter if you like a Mediterranean diet, doesn't matter if you like steak and potatoes. If you can adhere to those principles, that's going to make your life easier. 